I had no less than 50 people tell me to go check out a video. It's the most insane, illogical, and unintelligent video that I've seen in a long time. It's another extremely popular YouTube photography channel advocating shooting JPEGs. Now, I saw the entire video. It's insane. Now, this enraged another YouTube photography channel, Fro Knows Photo who I have no love lost between him and myself, his video in response to that other YouTube photography channel is 100% correct. Well, 95% correct. He actually advocates shooting uncompressed raw files, which is nonsense. You should be shooting lossless compressed. This is the one and only time I'm actually advocating you go watch uh, Frono's photo's video, which was made in the past 24 hours, I believe, in response to the other video which is insane, advocating shooting JPEGs. Absolutely ridiculous. The notion that you should be shooting JPEGs on any halfway decent camera is as insanely bass backwards, stupid, and unintelligent as buying a Lamborghini and only driving at five miles an hour down to your local Walgreens to pick up some milk. It's like, well, isn't that wonderful? You got this really expensive car and you're driving it no different than a, an 80-year-old pickup truck. It's absolutely incredibly stupid. Now, there's certain times where you want to make a quick edit of a JPEG to post to like a Flickr page or an Instagram, and that's perfectly fine. I'm not saying JPEGs are entirely stupid. They have their place. Actually, I always shoot RAW plus fine. The reason for that is workflow. You can actually preview the JPEGs and then select out of those the raw images for editing. Now, even if you don't know how to edit raw files, you should always be shooting raw files. If you don't know how to edit raw files and just shoot what every other professional shoots, which is raw plus fine, and then later on down the road, you'll actually have the raw files to edit. That video from the uh, first person, uh, well, I don't know what his name is, Tony maybe? That, that that video is absolutely insane. It's 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 existentially wrong. It's just flat out crotch out wrong on so many levels. And uh, Fro knows video. Obviously, that set Fro off big time. And I saw his video. Like I said, his video is ninety five percent accurate. His criticism of the other video advocating shooting JPEGs is accurate. Let me state that again. Frono's uh, photo, his video in response to that other video is absolutely 100% accurate. He criticizes it. He basically does all but pull his hair out in the video. And he's right. He's absolutely right. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of things I'd like to say, but I can't say them. That, that video is the original video, not Fro's video in response. That original video is absolutely, utterly incorrect. Flat out, period, undeniably, just flat out dead wrong. So thanks to the 50 plus emails that I got, and most of the emails were like this. I just saw this video. So and so YouTube photography channels advocating shooting JPEGs, and they they were saying stuff like, "What the hell is this nonsense? This is ridiculous twaddle," and I didn't even believe it at first until I saw the video. So, <laughs> yeah, you're you're right. All the people that emailed me, you're correct. That that is twaddle. Twaddle, by the way, is an American expression, basically meaning nonsense, poppycock. Uh, <laughs> wrong wrong shooting jpegs is is ridiculous even if you don't know how to edit raw files shoot raw files and then you know six months a year down the late down the road you'll learn how to use lightroom or whatever program you want raw files are so incredibly important shooting jpegs only out of a thousand dollar plus camera is as stupid as owning a three hundred thousand dollar Lamborghini and driving at five miles an hour down to the Walgreens to pick up milk every day. Really, really dumb.